Is this where it's leaking from right here? Back here? Say that again. Is it leaking from right there or is it leaking from under it, here? Nope, it's leaking from right here. Okay, wa right wa there. watch my hand, ready? Okay, just needs to be, t see I said if, if we tighten it, it will probably break something. We uh, just uh, are not good at that's any That's why I fixed stuff. it. It okay. might, it might need a new O-ring in there. Okay. But I, it was pretty loose to turn to half a turn. For that six degrees, right? That was real cold. Oh, heck yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, we got to tune this sucker up. We usually don't work on generators, but it's just a tune up oil change and stuff. It's easy. In the wintertime, we'll take them, but not in the summer. Not in the summer. No. Too busy I'm screwing with generators because that's not really what we do. I can do it, but I don't, eh, I don't like generators. I'm not, I'm not that good with them. So I don't have all the parts I'm not set up for them. So if you're not set up for them, it's, you know, we'll just change the soil real quick. I did an oil change on a generator one time and they didn't cut a hole in the, bra in the bracket it was sitting on the, the base. That sucked because I had to take the whole generator out and cut a hole. Never do that again. Let's see, is this the right one? Yep, yeah, that's the right one. I'll take the, where's the oil right here? Oh, this one's pretty easy because you just hit this. Boom shebang. Oh, not with my hand, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. This is like the most common tool used for RV repair. This and a square head and a drill. <laughs> you have to have a bunch of channel locks. Stuff like this. Oh yeah, she's black. Open this, get some air going through. Oh, she's black. She's been running for a little while, guys. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna put this other filter back on. Okay, she said this is pretty important. The dash shakes going down the road, so they probably had this apart before. Let me take this off. Take this off. Support that sucker. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fun. This, this is going to be the hardest thing to do. Unless the roof needs work. Right. Oh, I see a bracket right here. It's a little loose, but golly. That's like custom brackets and stuff. It's not easy to get in here either. Huh. Oh, does this come apart? This trim must come apart. You gotta. Uh, uh, right, let me get my headlight. So I'm gonna put one of these stainless steel brackets in, bend it, and try to see what I can do because this is kind of customization stuff that is. It just takes a little bit of time to get it right. Because otherwise, I'll be right. Uh, ooh, that stainless is hard to bend. I need a vise for the back of that truck. Go to, anybody has a vice company wants to sponsor me for aluminum vice because I will only do aluminum due to weight. I'm not hauling around another heavy vice. Ooh, too heavy. The driving I do, the gas would kill me. Well, Bill always taught me not to throw stuff out. And look at this. It's almost like custom made for it. It's almost like designed for it. That's crazy, huh? I just happen to have that. I don't even know what it's from or to or what. But I'll show you how I'm going to do it. I might put some epoxy on it. Bill taught me that too. Uh, acrylic. I think it's acrylic. Acrylic epoxy is wicked strong. Okay guys, what I did is I put another bracket under there. Tighten the original bracket up. Put all this back together. Put all the screws in properly. Then I went over to this. This thing was falling out underneath there. The piece of wood I screwed that in there. 
Uh, this bigger screw. Not bigger screw, sometimes I just keep a couple laying around right here. Yeah, that sucker will hold, but I can't close the door after. That's the problem. This might be good. This one right here. A little thicker. A little thicker screw. A couple of little things on this. A couple of bigger things. That's what we do. So we can cross out the list. Uh, front dash, console, toilet. That was a Titan. TV stand. Bracket wiggles and shakes. Bedroom TV. That's all you can do with that one. Put a bigger screw in it. All right, so you got a microwave plug, which I can't reach. But there's a nice little handy dandy stand I'm going to borrow right here. I need to get one of these foldable ones in the truck for the truck. It's just like, you know, just that little bit helps my short bucket in there. All right, so where's the plug? Okay, oh, great. The whole shelf's got to come out. Neutrals out. Right there, there's our problem right there. Neutral bar. <laughs> Sliding right in and out. See it? They didn't push them in from factory enough. So we gotta fix the neutrals. <laughs> nope. Alright, kicking the other one out. Let me get some needle nose. They do take care of this RV, I'll tell you that. That was the problem to the microwave. It's never going to work if the neutral wasn't on. Your needle nose are like the best for this stuff, guys. Oh, yeah, see? It just came right out. There it is. I just slammed it in there. Oh. Ah, tight now. Let me check them all. That was the problem. Neutral. Bad neutral. All right. All right. Going on the roof. Going on the roof. All right, let's see what we got going here. Yeah. All right. What we got going here? Solar for all you solar fans out there. Got some solar going. See here. I like roofs. Hmm. So far, so good. Yeah, they didn't put enough die corn in the skylight, I'll tell you right now. I don't like how much they, they didn't use hardly anything. Who in the world did this job? White die corn, they, they put it like an ounce on. It's cracked too a little bit. Man, this branch is going to piss me off. A couple mess ups right there. By the front left cap. Not too, too bad though, I'll admit. I usually see worse than this. So this is actually in really good shape, this roof. Besides a little bit of missing die core, that's about it. I'd go over to skylight, definitely. Because that seems like the skylights leak all the time. The skylights, the corners, and around the ladders leak all the time. Front and rear cap. The other stuff, not so much, but you're saying, she got some problems with the die. They didn't put much on here in factory at all. You can retract, yeah, you can retract all. Let me make sure my ladder, well, hold on a sec. My ladder. Oh, lucky we didn't retract them. 
It would have crushed the whole stand and the ladder and everything because I had it in between your tire rack thing. Oh, wow. But, all, all right, right. everything good? Yeah. Okay, so do you want me to retract all of them? Yep. Okay. All right. Let's retract them all. There you go. Yeah, your fluid's filling right back up. Okay. There might, might not be low on fluid. It's going really far up. It's almost at the top already. Yeah, I just put the back down only. You know how to do the rear? Just hold the rear. Hold the rear only. Don't put the front. Because we're going to see if it's fluid thing. So you guys, you got to lay it on hard. I totally forgot about you guys on that last call. I went to two calls today and I totally forgot. I'm sorry I didn't bring the camera, I apologize. But I'm gonna show you the after effects. Took the heater out, because the heater's got pinhole leaks in it, we couldn't see. But here's the problem with this heater. It's got an, it has antifreeze that goes through it. Acts like a heat exchanger. So just these two pipes right here makes this $1,000 or $950 heater go up to $2,700. Just because this little thing's welded on here. Unbelievable. And you can't even get them. So we're just going to put a regular tank on here, replace the tank, take these check valves out and do it that way because I'm not going to... The customer doesn't even need that. So we're just going to pipe that direct and let it feed through. So that's it. I'm not doing it. And, uh, you know, we got to take... We're going to just place the tank because you can't even get the seat. Just replace the tank. We can get the tank. So we're going to take all this off the tank and, and convert it to the other tank. Holy smokes, so I'm telling you what right now that thing was a bear to get out, but we got it out All right, we're home now. I was about 20 miles away each way and there's uh There's Harry Harry What are you doing Harry? What are you doing Harry? We got YouTube studio lighting we put in for YouTube just for YouTube Put all these lights in just for YouTube Yeah, cuz it's so dark every time we film in here. We got to have YouTube lighting so we put YouTube lighting in for you guys what do you think about that? I think it's not just for You're still YouTube. not feeling well? Tell the camera. Do I was your, doing phenomenal. Do you do, uh, do you take your vitamin C packs? Yep, and then all of a sudden, boom. <laughs> did you take your antibiotics? Yes, I started antibiotics again today. 